All right, it's been a little while since I posted a video relating to Fordsons. Um, similar to other videos I've done relating to the engine, but this is on my going tractor, not my donor dead engine. Um, noticed it was blowing a bit of smoke. Um, I was thinking injectors might be the problem. And then also after working it very hard in the summer heat, I noticed a little bit of coolant coming out of the head gasket. So to avoid any long-term dramas, let's get it in and uh, pull it apart. So I'll go through the process with everything there. It might make a little bit more sense because the other engine already had a lot of parts missing. So parked her up. I always like to have a nice flat area to put all the parts, make sure nothing goes missing or drop anything. Uh, clean workspace pays dividends. So first thing I did is drop some coolant out of the radiator and the engine. So to do that, we've got the tap here to drain the coolant out of the engine. And you'll be surprised to know that that's actually in the off position. Unlike most other valves in the world, when it's facing down, it is closed. And that's really, if there's any vibration on the tractor, on the valve with the weight of the handle kind of vibrates down, it's going to be in the off position anyway. And then I don't know if you can see it just in there. Best access is from the bottom. That's the tap to drain the extra radiator. So I took out some coolant, that way nothing leaks everywhere. All right, radiator hose off, because I'm gonna take the head off to replace the gasket. The exhaust and air intake manifolds came off. Air hose to the top of the air intake manifold came off. And then these also governor pipes came out of the air intake manifold. So that's this side apart. If you go around the other side, a little bit more complex on this side. So first up here, we had the diesel fuel filter connected this pipe here, that one there, to the other fuel filter, and then from there on this one down. We also had our temperature gauge, took that out of there, blocked that hole up with a bit of tape so nothing sneaks in there. We also had our bleed off there, and that goes through to the tank. Took that off. The other thing to take off is this here. That there goes on the radiator cowling bar and my electrics cable tied to. So that's the main stuff off. I took the rocker cover off. Then Obviously, rocker off, arms out, feed pipe to the injectors, the injectors came out next, and as you can see, not in great condition, very fouled. So, we'll give those a clean, I've got some new rubbers to replace the rubbers because I had a leak on one of them. As you can see here, a bit of a leak out of there. Also, obviously, took these four pipes off the injectors. Now, I'm up to taking the head bolts off. Like my other videos, there's a precise pattern for undoing them and doing them up. Um, so I've numbered them to make it easier for me, so I'm not checking the book and the manual constantly. Uh, and you will need a torque wrench to do this up properly. 
I believe it's 90 uh, pounds to do it up and it it really it's really important you have a manual to get the proper torque torque settings for this important part all right next stage take the head off replace the gasket and put it all back together till the next one